Okay, so here's how I make dog food, Brother Dave. <laughs> I start, uh, that's just five pounds, roughly. I always tell them just approximate. I don't care for four and three quarters pounds of the hamburger meat that was on sale at the uh, store. And then I always pick up some, a pack of gizzards. Today I'm trying, what are these, turkey or chicken feet? Um, I got some kidneys. And, I don't know, some pork. It was already kind of chopped up. Seemed like it would be easy to handle. I got some spinach. I'm chopping up some sweet potatoes. Red pepper. Broccoli. Green beans. And, what else? What other vegetables am I going to stick in here? Then I'll add seeds and oils in a little bit. Alright. Also, I'm going to add this... Trader Joe's pink salmon, but sometimes I add sardines or oysters or just fish that I buy at the grocery store, but something for their omega-3s. But I also give my dogs just omega-3 pills for humans. I just hand them to them. They just gobble them up. Um, same as me. Um, anything to get their omega-3s, and the more the better. So no eggshells go to waste. Any eggs we eat, I just put them in a little container in the fridge. Or the freezer actually and then here is i don't know red pepper broccoli spinach and some eggshells and i'm about to blend that all up here's the pork and the kidneys and i'm going to chop it up not i mean like for joe he could eat these it's not that big of a deal but molly's throat is so small so i chop things up so that molly won't choke and liver which, I don't know why, I find it easier to deal with when it's frozen. It's less stinky and easier to chop. I'm going to put it in this bowl. And as in Arabia, I'm sure you'll enjoy the clean-as-you-go method, which I do. <laughs> Alright, so I'm out of hemp oil, but I'm going to add some turmeric powder, kelp powder, some chia seeds, I don't know, a little nutritional yeast and some flax meal, and then I'm going to add some coconut oil. Then I'm going to mix all this together with my hands, and then I'll show you how I assemble it. Oh, and I went to Amazon and ordered all these microwave and freezer safe containers. This is the half pound, which is exactly what Joe eats in a day, so I know I can just fill that. And these are the quarter pound, which is what um, Gertie and Betsy eat in a day. And then Molly eats a quarter pound. Uh, I mean, uh, wait, let me see. Half, half pound, sorry, one pound, half pound, quarter pound. That's right. Um, and they're cheap, like 10 bucks. You get like a hundred of them and, uh, they go in your freezer and they don't crack after they've been in the freezer for a while. And then I just kind of assembly line it. Like I make some of the stuff I mix together, but other stuff like the gizzards, I put like, there's a chicken foot or is that a turkey foot? I didn't even read the label. Those are sizable feet. And then I put a piece of liver or two in each bowl. And then I just stock all this stuff in my freezer. And the night before they eat, I pull out tomorrow's food and I defrost it for a few hours and then I put it in the fridge and I just clean up. And um, I got my glass cutting board at the thrift store for like four bucks, which is perfect for chopping up meats and stuff. And I added all the powders and I don't know, every batch is different. Look. A dog in the wild isn't going to always get a full balanced meal every day. So I don't feel bad if like one week we have sweet potatoes and the next week we don't have sweet potatoes. Maybe I do peas or I do carrots and spinach or kale or broccoli and I just kind of mix it up. But the best thing to remember if you're going to try to make your dog's food is just be brave. Oh, and when I serve them um, several days a week, I throw in a raw egg as well. They love eggs. Eggs are like one of the best things you can give them. And oysters, they say, are like one of the best things you can give your dog. Um, so I don't know. Let me finish this up here. Oh, I forgot. I also splash on the turmeric at the end, like a half a teaspoon, because it's so yellow. It'll stain anything yellow. It'll stain your equipment, your counter, all that kind of stuff. And also I keep a special, my blue sponge, as you can see, is my dog sponge. When I'm making dog food, I have my own sponge that I pull out to clean all this stuff out. And I use it to clean their dishes in the morning and to clean out these containers with warm soap and water after I'm done uh, serving them in the morning as well. All right, and as you can see, Molly gets itty bitty whittles. She's only getting little chicken toes because I think she's going to choke on a foot. 
now I have a week's worth of food. I'm just gonna go put it in the freezer outside, except for tomorrow's food, which I'll just put in the fridge. And I make like, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, ten days at a time, and just freeze it. And then I relax and enjoy my dogs. And these guys always keep me company when I'm making dog food. They never leave the kitchen. Joe, you're a good boy. Come on, Joe. Sit. Strawberry one, you can sit. Good boy. You already had two chicken feet, and you got some kidney, and you got some sweet potato. That's your treat for helping Mama cook. Hi, Gertie.